Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. We're looking at two versions of FreeCAD to show the new text features that are available in version one. On the left we see FreeCAD 0.21.2. At the time of speaking, this is the current version. If we look to the right, we have FreeCAD 1, Release Candidate 2. And this will lead into the main release of FreeCAD, the FreeCAD version one. Let's show the differences with the shape string. To add a shape string, well, first of all, we need to be looking down on the working plane. You can see this is the working plane here. You can change that by making sure nothing's selected, using utilities and select plane. And I've selected top in both of these. Working in FreeCAD 0.212, I select the drafting and pick shape from text. We add something called a shape string. We can see the position here. I'm going to keep the string as default, we can change this. The height, the same, we can change this. And the font file, we'll give it a font. And I'll select the Homer for this one. Now this has been demonstrated on Windows. We can use the default font viewer, and that's available in the settings. But for this demonstration, we're just looking for the differences between the two versions. And set reset point. So it sets it to the middle. X, Y, Z are zero and hit OK. Do the same over this side for version one of FreeCAD. Up to the drafting, shape from text, doing the same, reset point, pick the font file, the Homer, open that, X, Y position has changed, let's reset the point again and hit OK. So at the moment there's not much difference. But if we look at the shape string on the left for 0.212 and the same on the right, version one, there are a lot more options here. Let's scroll down and have a look. Let's look at the draft section. We've just got file make face size string and tracking. The size and string are self-explanatory. The tracking Sets the spacing between the text. So if I set this to three, this will expand out. And if I try to set this to minus three, you can see I can't actually do that. So we can only do the tracking one way. If we look at the tracking in version one, I can set this to three. And also I can set this to minus value. It places it on top of each other. Let's set this to minus one. On the left hand side here, we have fuse as well. This means I can set this to true and it fuses those together. So you can see that the overlap has been removed. So the more overlap, let's go to 1.5, the more those are fused together. Set those back and set the fuse to false. Do the same 0.21 as well. That's the first difference between those two. Let's have a look at the justification now. So by default in 0.21, there is no justification. It's always placed at this point here, the bottom left. And it's changed by the position. If we look over to version one, justification we have bottom left and a number of other options in here. Notice that the D of default, and though they're using the same font, is at the point of origin, the center point, where this one is just off. This means that I can change justification to middle center and click off. And you notice we're around the center of that text. It's actually the center of the caps, which again, if we look down, we've got the justification reference and that is caps height. So that's the center of the capital letter. If I change this to shape height, you notice there was a slight change in there. And that shifted up, so shape height. Also new property is the oblique angle. So if I change this, 
display 13, the text becomes italic. Let's set this to minus 13, and it goes the other way. I'm going to zero this out. Along with the size, we have something called scale to size. So I've maximized the current version, and we're going to look at the height. I'm going to control select both those vertices and use the measure tool. So I've got a measurement in here for the distance of 10 millimeters. Now, if we look back at the model, look at the size, there's 10 millimeters there. And this is because the scale to size is on. I'll turn this off, put that to false, and refresh. You notice the size changes. And this ensures that the caps height is equal to the size. So by default, the size of the font can differ, sometimes smaller, sometimes larger than a set size. By adding this property, this ensures the size of that font. We still have options like make face, but we can set this to true or false. And we'll refresh that. Let's remove the face from there and we just have the edges. We'll set that back. And refresh. So that's it. That's a quick look at the new text options in FreeCAD version 1 compared to 0.21.2 in this case. I hope you enjoyed that video and look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.